Hey guys, I'm Mrs. Salter. Okay, so here's the lowdown. Juice bar in the back, help yourself. Also, there are cards on the desk with your names on them. Rip hardcore themed. I love the show. And he is a personal friend of mine. See, I told you guys there's nothing to worry about. Um, Mrs. Salter, I can't find my desk. My name's Lincoln Loud. Oh, okay. Here you are. Looks like you're in Mr. Bobner's class. If you ever get swallowed by a whale, there are three things to remember. One, locate the blowhole. Uh, can you quit it, Chandler? Every day you mess with my seat and it's super distracting. Can't you just let me sit in peace? Hey, Locke! Uh, Zip the lip! But, Mr. Bullhoffner, it's not me. That'll be one detention. Wanna try for another? Yeah. <laughs> Yuck, Loud. Play off the bratwurst. Cutting the cheese in my class? That's a second detention, Loud. In this herky-jerky world, you should need to say goodbye. Nope. Wrong octave. In this herky-jerky world, you shouldn't need to say goodbye. Nope. Wrong tempo. In this herky-jerky world, you shouldn't need to say goodbye. Nope. Wrong key. In this herky-jerky world, you shouldn't need to say goodbye. Nope. 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 You are killing me, Big Rod. Oh, where's my flippy? <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. This solo is trickier than I thought. Uh, let's just call it a day. I'll see you all tonight at the show. Lincoln? I actually have some good news. You've proven yourself to be a pretty determined kid. So I pulled some strings and I found a way to get you what you want. Oh, thank you, thank you! My friends are going to be so happy! You'll be challenged in a cooler classroom, etc., etc. You've just earned free poppers for life, Principal Ramirez. Because you'll be attending a new school! It's just across the river. Wait, what? A new school? Yeah, it wasn't easy, but I was able to enroll you since I know the principal there. He owes me a favor. But, but... I cashed it in, so this better be worth it, Loud. And by the way, it's in Canada! Well, Lincoln, I think you'll be very happy here at Mapleton. Whoa! Eh, you'll get used to that. Anyway, did Principal Ramirez ever tell you about the time she saved my life? There I was, choking on a beaver tail. Hey, Principal Marshall, is it cool if we use the rink after school? Gotta get in extra practice before the big game, eh? Yes, of course. The big game. How can I forget the big game? It's all anyone can think about. Sweet! Thanks! Mapleton rules! So, I take it hockey's pretty big here? <laughs> you could say that. Class? I want you to meet our new student, Lincoln Loud. Oh, Welcome, hey. Welcome, hey. Lincoln. 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 You're just in time for our math lesson. Cool. I'll get out my notebook. Oh, no need for that. Okay, everyone, suit up. <laughs> Here, Lincoln, you ten goal. Whoa! Um, I don't really know how to play. Okay, kids, if Sadie hits a 160-gram puck with 4,200 pounds of force, how much time does Lincoln have to raise his glove to block the goal? Two microseconds! <laughs> Class, you're looking at a woman who was up all night crying. I mean, workshopping her emotions. I auditioned for a major role and was rejected for the 14th time! <laughs> it's a character that speaks to me, one I'm meant to play. Why? Why dost thou elude me, Heidi Heifer? Luann, did I miss it? Did you tell Mrs. Bernardo your big news? <gasps> Perhaps a sprig of good news will sweeten my sorrow. Well, Luann, what are your happy tidings? She, uh, bought me a new bow tie. Ain't it a real doozy? Uh, and the agony lives on. Luann, will you lead acting warm-ups? I'll be brooding tragically in the wings. Coach Keck! You were a chaperone at the dance last night and claimed to see Rusty throw the stink bomb. But, uh, weren't you across the gym? And, uh, ain't you severely nearsighted? You betcha that I saw the whole thing with these new specs. Yeah. Get right down to Rusty's pearl cuff links. Yep, never miss a thing now. Like the ball headed at Zach. <laughs> hmm, an interesting interpretation of Rusty, Ms. Zhao. Gosh, sorry, Mr. Mew. I can't get this exclusive story out of my head. The food and feels closing. Me Same. too. This story is huge. <gasps> 
Sorry, I got swept up in artistic passion. Rusty's such a great muse. Uh, keep creating, mes petites artistes. I need to make a call. Mrs. Loud? Lucy's mom? What are you doing here? I'm taking over the writing club for a while. Does everyone have their textbooks? <laughs> Great. Well, you can put them away because we're going on a field trip. We've never gone on a field trip. Now, I want you to take note of everything you see, smell, taste, touch, and hear. Does it matter how we hold our pencils? Not one bit. Summer rain, spring daffodil, pickled eggs. Surprise! What a nice surprise! Spare me your pleasantries, Mrs. Loud. I know all about the little field trips you've been taking behind my back. Oh, well, I just wanted to show the kids that writing can be fun. No, no, fundamentals before fun. It's all in the book I gave you, which seems to have gone missing. I'm sorry. I just found the material a bit dry. I don't believe I asked you for your review. From now on, you will follow said material and keep students in the classroom. Parent-teacher conferences are tonight from 6 to 8. Mr. and Mrs. Girdle, have a seat. We prefer to stand. Uh, oh, okay. Well, Zach's a great student, uh, and he has a very active imagination. Last week, he made up a cute story about the abominable snowman working as a hot dog vendor in Kentucky. That's not a story. We're planning a family trip to see him next summer. Get changed, princess. The rope is waiting. And it will continue to do so, Coach P. This is 30% of your grade, kid. I mean, right away, Coach. <sighs> Uh, I gotta pee, Coach. Uh, pee? So do I. Okay, everyone, move it. Royalty coming through. If this damages my nails, you will be hearing from my attorney. Allie! Wow, Lola. I've never seen that kind of hustle from you before. And can you believe it? She couldn't get it out of her nose. <laughs> <laughs> Another thought on field trips. Why go somewhere noisy and bright when we could go someplace tranquil and dark, like a morgue? <gasps> ah! Sorry, kiddos. We appreciate your very colorful suggestions, but the field trip has been finalized. And you have got to stop popping up like this. You're gonna give your poor principal a heart attack. Sigh. Oh, don't look so gloomy. The beach will be fun. Besides, a little vitamin D will do y'all some good. <laughs> oh, to be continued. Excuse me, can I please talk to the principal? Cheryl? Oh, no, sugar. I'm Meryl, Cheryl's sister. And I'm sorry, but Principal Ramirez is busier than a beehive in a bouquet of baby's breath. Let me see when she's free, though. Can you do Christmas of next year? Uh... Oopsie doodle. That's lunch. We have a lot to discuss, Principal Huggins. Ooh. Like all the money you've been spending on floor wax. Well, I, uh... Oh, good. The refreshments are here. Ouch. Care for a cookie? <laughs> oh, these are delicious. Mm. Mm. And definitely not store-bought. Now, what was I saying? Oh, who can recall? Have another. <laughs> well, now that's quite a goose egg, Coach. Jeez, how'd you do that? Uh, well, uh, I, uh... He was just showing us the best way to run the obstacle course. Maybe you should stick to something a little less strenuous, eh? Like, um, mini golf? Now that's my game. Wait, you, you like mini golf, Nurse Patty? <laughs> like it? You're talking to the Royal Woods Mini Golf Queen. Let's have some fun with numbers. If three giraffes are having dinner together and one lion comes to join them, how many animal friends are there now? Darcy? Um, okay. Three plus... Um... Don't engage, Darcy. You know that lions don't dine with giraffes. They dine on giraffes. Tearing muscle from bone in a frenzy. A mechanism of Darwinian natural selection. Well, Lisa, even though you're right, 
Let's tone it down for your fellow first graders. What's a frenzy? Okay, I think I know what we need to do. Let's shake our sillies out. Come on, let me see you shake those sillies out. There you go. <laughs> Ugh. Excuse me, Miss Renovas. There appears to be an error in my academic evaluation. If you could just go ahead and remedy that, I'll be on my merry way. Actually, Lisa, that's not an error. You got an F because you haven't made a single friend in class yet. I prefer to see my classmates as co-workers, or occasionally test subjects. Look, how can I turn this around? In the future, when I represent Earth in the Interplanetary Council, it's going to be acutely embarrassing to have an F on my otherwise perfect academic records. Tell you what, if you make a friend, I'll raise your grade. Done. There! I made one. Behold the FriendBot 1000. It can bring me things I need. Thank you, FriendBot. It can also chill juice boxes with its ice vision. <laughs> What was that? The Rat Beast! I thought Norm already got him! Give me back my music box, you monster! Go! 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 Wait! Huh? I can explain. This little fella is your Rat Beast. Then who were you fighting in the closet? No one. I was just play-acting so you kids would go away. I didn't want you to find out about Cinnamon here. We want to roll! Music clubs are heart and soul! Um, Principal Rivers, you might want to see this. Hang on. I can't decide between the maple glazed or the bear claw. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, grr, bear claw. We want to roll! Hmm? We want to roll! Music clubs are heart and soul! Oh, no. Are those the music kids? Oh, they seem really mad at me. Maybe I shouldn't have cut their club. Wait, 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 wait. Don't panic. You spent weeks making the new budget. Stand firm. Mm, right. Principal Rivers, we're not giving up our club without a fight. So listen up, because this song's going out to you. It's a catchy song, but you've already made up your mind. Right, Principal Rivers? P -pr Principal Rivers. Do we got to say? Miss V, I just wanted to tell you, I'm dropping out of the Royal Rumble. I know I'm never going to make it as a rock star, so I'm done with music. I tease my jam now. It's a heck of a gig. Great job security, solid retirement plan. It's more practical. Well, wait, Luna, honey, you don't have to give up music completely. Lots of people play as a hobby. Nah, it would just break my heart. My achy, breaky heart. Sorry to mess up the rumble, Miss V. Junk in the pieces? Well, what's this? Chester gave me that. His band is playing at the Red Herring tonight. Junk has a band? Suit up. Cool! I've always wanted to wear a lab coat. Welcome, fifth graders. We're continuing our work with live mealworms today. So everyone grab a case from the back of the class. <laughs> Jack! <gasps> Is this the thief who stole my recipe book? Who are you calling thief, thief? I should call the FBI! Go ahead! You're the one who's going to the clink! Wait, I is that you, Lynn Loud? <gasps> Miss Scalise? Wait, you two know each other? Yes! M Miss Scalise is my old middle school home ec teacher. She... She taught me everything I know about cooking. Oh, now, Lynn, there's a lot we learned from each other. We would experiment on recipes, creating new twists on all sorts of old favorites. Oh, no! I knocked caramel sauce into the mac and cheese. It's ruined! Now, wait a second, Lynn. Mmm. Oh, it's delicious! The sweet brings out the salty. Wiener Wednesday is where it's at. Hmm. Oh, next! Wow, Solman Yay! This is the best fishy Friday ever! A frozen fish stick? Ugh. Something weird is going on with Chef Pat, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. 
Hmm? Uh, Chef Pat, do you have a second? <laughs> Did I do something to make you angry? Cause the lunches you've been giving me have been pretty inedible. Nope. I got no beef with you. <laughs> beef! I see what you did there. 